Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye. I am back with Fishing Planet, and we are here for the one time a year event called the Garween, and this time it's called Garween Resurrected. Now, I don't know if any of you have seen my past videos from last year, but basically what this means is that on different maps, we have different types of unique gar. Now, one of the first types of gar that are present is the Black Vampire Gar, and that's present here at Mudwater River. And to go along with that, guys, they're primarily only fished from about 9 p.m. to about 5 a.m., so only at night and in the dark. And there's also some cool little things added, like little glowing eyes in the background and stuff like that. And in addition to that, they also have added some bluegill skeletons. So you have some skeleton fish that you can catch. Now, the only change from last year, as far as those guys go, is that the skeleton fish are a little bit bigger. I've noticed that. And the other thing that has changed is where you can find the black vampire gar. Last year, if you watched any of my, vi my video that I had on black vampire gar, uh, you're not going to find them in the same place. Uh, anyway, let me go ahead. We're going to head off to Pike Challenge to start with. And no, no, I think what we'll do is we'll go to Last Songs of Summer. And right now it's 1.26 a.m. So we're still in that time window for these guys. I hope you can see this fairly well. I don't know if you noticed the little pumpkin there. Okay, I think you can see fairly well. It's not seriously, seriously dark. Now I'm going to go ahead and shut that off there. Now, for the last songs of summer, there's a lot of places you can catch these guys. And what we need here to catch them, actually you can use a lot of the general stuff, but what I'm going to be using is dead mice. <laughs> Honest to God, that's what we're going to be using. I am going to go ahead and go to the store and purchase a few more things here because I did play around with this a little bit, but the three main bait items that have been added are dead mice, which I'm going to go ahead and get a few more of those. Uh, the pig's eyes. I'm going to get a couple of those actually. And the other thing is the rotten minnows. The only problem with the rotten minnows, guys, is it is gold. It's three gold each, so I'm just going to buy five of those. But the gold, anything with gold is going to be more, I guess, savory to the creatures you're fishing for. But if you get the DLC for this, I believe you get some new rods and stuff. I've, I'm kind of trying to decide whether I want to do that or not because... Actually, some of the rods look pretty cool, and I kind of like having the holiday event rods and reels, just because I, I like them, to be honest. But anyway, we're going to come back to the location, and we're going to try to see what we can get. Now, if you see the moon, it looks like it has a little face on it, too. That's also kind of cool. But this is the only time you can really fish at night. I've never caught anything except during the Garween event. Now let me go ahead and switch off to this. Now, I've got me some dead mice here. <laughs> now my understanding, well I've been having some luck on this side. Actually there's been a couple places. But one of the places has been right here in these reeds, right in this area right here. So you don't have to really cast very far. But the only problem I've had with this is that sometimes I get the interest of the skeleton bluegill as well. Now I've got my depth to about only 10, 10 inches. It doesn't have to be deep at all. 10 to 20 inches works pretty good. And one of the big problems with this is that there is a current, so you kind of have to keep taking up your slack. That's a bit of a problem. Now as far as the type of rod and reel, it really doesn't matter all that much. See there, I'm already getting a good bite. Check it out. Getting a nice bite. 
But again, I'm getting a lot of slack issues. Got to keep the slack out because when I try to reel this guy in, he's going to take my bait if I'm not careful. I thought for a minute he might have lost interest, but he's still there. Yep, I just heard a wolf howl. <laughs> yeah, they've tried to make it spooky, so... Okay, he's still there. Come on, dude. He is just playing around with it. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and put a smaller hook on here. That might increase our odds a little bit more. And I'm going to take it to 20 inches too. Because I was, seemed to be doing better at 20 inches than I did. It seems like the guard, I really like to be at about 20 inches. farther out than I needed to be, but I think I'm still getting a bite. Okay, there we go. We're getting some interest again. There we go. Ah. Oh. Well, there's our bluegill skeleton, guys. <laughs> Isn't that a weird looking thing? Check it out. There we go, get it a little bit better light. Sorry about the car. Unfortunately, we have some cars out there. There he is, a little skeleton fish. Yeah, I think I'm going to try it here because I had a little more luck out here by this weed set here. See, that's the only problem with using the smaller hook, because that will, that attracts the bluegill. See, I'm getting some interest already. Still got a little bit of issue with the, come on fish. Okay, we got a cigar this time. That's no bluegill. And there they are, guys. Black Vampire Gar. 22.871 pounds. 48 inches. And plus 25 XP. Now, if you get enough of these, you get some special things. I think it's like... If you get 10 of them or something, you get some kind of a hat or something. I'm not sure exactly. But he's a vicious looking little brood, isn't he? Let me go ahead and keep him. I'll tell you what. Let's go down here a little bit. We'll fish down on this side. Now, if you throw it to pretty much the same location, if you're over on the... Uh, Catfish Heaven side, you're pretty much going to get the same thing, but it seems like well, right here is a good spot. And one of the reasons I like the fish right here is because the current isn't as much of an issue. Come on. Let's so get it one more good. There we go. Yeah, it's a gar. It's cigar, it's cigar. Come on, Gar. There we go. Okay, he's a little bit bigger. He's 23.971 pounds, plus 26 and 49 inches, almost 50 inches long. The big old fish. And he's not the biggest. The other two lakes is once in the Heron River, North Carolina. You can catch the Ogre Gar, the green Ogre Gar, 
and they're even bigger. And then the next one is at the Everglades, and you can catch the albino ghost gar, and that thing's a monster. I think they can go close to 80 pounds at times. But we will get there. But first, of course, I wanted to show you this one, guys. And I also wanted to show you, as far as your gear goes, I happen to be using some pretty heavy gear. You don't necessarily need that. Just about any kind of heavy-duty uh, float fishing rod will work just fine. It does need to have a certain amount of weight behind it. So I would say you need to at least have the Phoenix for these guys. And the DLC does have the Phoenix. Now this is the Halloween Phoenix. That was from last year. And it, it's always worked. It'll pretty much catch every one of these gar. So if you can get that, it's great. Now I'm using the Brutus on this one. And as far as the test line, I would say you need at least 12 pound test. More is better, to be honest. But And as far as hook sizes, probably 2 aught to 6 aught at least. Because they're pretty big fish. Anyway guys, that is the first of the Halloween events. And I would appreciate it if you would please share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet, hopefully within the next day or two, and then we will see the green Olgagar at that point. So until then, guys, I will see you later. Bye-bye.